Hello, my fellow property managers. Mark Cunningham at Grace Management. You know, sometimes when I'm trying to figure out a topic to talk about on these things, because we're up to what, video number like 150 or something like that, I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm out. I got nothing left. And then I'll be having a conversation like I was yesterday with a property manager like Paul. Thank you, Paul. And Paul will be like, hey, hey, Mark, we're having some trouble communicating to our owners when a tenant gives a notice to vacate and says, hey, I'm moving, what should we say to an owner? What should we not say? Should we call them? Should we send them an email? Should we give them details? Should we invite them in? Like, like what, what does that communication piece look like? And that's, I, I thought, I can't believe we've never addressed this because this is big. This is so big. The idea of how you're communicating to your owner clients when you're communicating. This right here, my friends, when a tenant says I'm moving, your owners are going to get scared. This is when communication is essential and it's very, very important that you do it properly. So let me offer you four suggestions on specific things to say to them when you get that notice to vacate from a tenant. Now, hopefully when the tenant gives a notice to vacate, you have a process, an internal process to follow, kind of a turnover checklist, that's what we use. And it's gonna have 30 things on there. Everything from communicating with the owner to getting utilities transferred, to getting the key back from the tenant, to sending the tenant the move out letter, you know, all those steps. There's a lot of steps. But one of those steps should be forwarding your owner, emailing your owner some information to inform them and educate them about this upcoming turnover. That's what I wanna focus on right here. What should you say in the email that you're gonna to send to your owner clients telling them, hey, Mr. Owner, the tenant has given notice to vacate. Here's what you need to know. There's a, there's a lot we could say, but let me just point out four things. Here's a, here's a copy of our template that we send to our owners when uh, that notice to vacate comes. And there's, there's a number of things we say in here, but four important ones I wanna key on right here. Number one, we wanna give them some market data. This is an opportunity for you as the property management expert to educate your owner client on what's going on in the market. You could get real detailed, you could get down in the weeds, you could keep it high level, but take this opportunity to educate your owner. So for example, one of the things we say in, in our email to our owner is uh, the current demand for rental housing is high, especially in the single family area. Decreased supply and increased demand are resulting in average rents increasing in most areas. The average time on market right now for a vacant property is 15 to 20 days, and we update this periodically. So that is just that's one little piece of data. We give others, but give something like that. Educate them. Let them know. Number two thing that I think you should put in there is anticipated turnover expenses as well as getting money from your owner client. Oh, I wish we had more time. We could talk about this for, for half an hour. You know turnovers cost money. Even when they look good, they cost some money. You might have to have it cleaned, you're gonna clean the carpet, you're gonna mow the lawn, you're gonna pay the utilities, and some things may come out of a tenant's deposit, but other things won't. And boy, we can burn through reserves real quick, can't we, owner at reserve money, getting a property rent ready. So are you going to collect more money from your owner client in anticipation of this turnover? Because you wanna go fast, and remember, you should never, ever, ever approve work to be done until you have the money from the owner to pay for that work. So don't order work and then tell your owner client they owe you money for the carpet cleaning and the paint and all these things because you will get burned, my friends, if you do that, I promise you. Instead, make sure you have the money first. So another way to work around that is let them know that, hey, we do anticipate some turnover expenses on your property. Not sure exactly what that's going to be, but then we say this as it relates to holding money. We already have an escrow reserve from our owner clients, but we say this. Your required reserves will be increased by an additional, we, we say 500 bucks, by an additional $500 in preparation for these anticipated expenses. Do you hear that? We're going to change our reserve amount for that owner client by 500 bucks right then and there. Because we, as soon as we get the notice to vacate, why? Because the expenses are gonna go up, we know they are. So instead of having to ask them for additional money a week from now, two weeks from now, two months from now, just increase your reserve. Increase your reserve by a few hundred bucks and inform them of it. You gotta tell them, make sure you tell them. It's so their money, goes back to them, the reserves drops back to the normal amount once it gets re-rented. But it's a good way to get that money that you need to turn over their property. Item number three, remind them of your awesomeness. Yes, my friends, you are awesome. Do I sound like Tony Robbins? Just a little bit, maybe, I don't know. We have to let them know this is a great opportunity 
to let them know some of the things that you do really well. They don't know how hard you work. They don't know anything about your applicant screening process. They don't know anything about the marketing, how many sites you push it on. If you do a video, they don't know any of that stuff. So use this as an opportunity to tell them. So for example, one thing we say is, as always, we will screen all new applicants thoroughly, including a rental and eviction background check, employment credit history, a full criminal background check, including a sex offender check. We'll make every effort to get the property re-rented as quickly as possible to a high quality resident. Our industry leading marketing package will ensure maximum vis visibility to high quality residents. And we go on and tell them about our awesomeness. Give them some confidence. Let them know that, hey, we know what we're doing here. We know what we're doing. And the final fourth piece of information I think you should share before I share it, I want to thank the sponsor for this video, Hire Smart Virtual Employees. Hire Smart Virtual Employees. Do you use VAs, virtual employees, virtual team members, whatever you want to call it in your business? We, we certainly do. And it's a great way to run your business at an economical cost. If you've thought about it, but you haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, here's what I encourage you to do. Reach out to the folks at Hire Smart Virtual Employees. They're experts just in virtual employees for the PM industry, and they do it all. They're like the one-stop shop. So they train, they find them, they train them, they educate them, they pay them, they give them insurance. I mean, they, they do everything. So if, if you're like me and you're like, well, I, I just, I don't want to interview somebody. I don't want to have to train somebody. I don't want to do all that stuff. These guys do all that stuff for you. So jump on their website, hiresmartvirtualemployees.com. Long website. I know, you got to type it. Don't, don't misspell it like I always do. Go on their website, check them out, get, get a free call with them, and just determine whether or not virtual employees are a solution, a potential solution for your business like they are for ours. Okay, item number four, the final item that we want to inform our owners of. Remind them that you will do it all, you, you the property manager, and no action is needed on their part. This is so important, don't overlook this. Because if you just send them this information, sometimes they don't know what to do with this, and so they're gonna assume they should become involved. They assume you're inviting them to get involved in the process. They think, oh, well, I better, I better call them up and, and uh, tell them the rent I wanna get, or I better call them up and, and tell them uh, that I wanna walk it. Let them know they don't need to do any of that stuff. So for example, a couple things we say in here, you know, we wanted to make you aware of these things. Uh, let's see here. At the time the property is vacated, we will conduct the full checkout of the property. We will complete the security deposit disposition, and we will complete any necessary cleaning, repairs, make ready services to get the property back to its full rent ready condition. Uh, once the property is rent ready, we'll let you know and send you a link. And then my favorite words, if you've watched any of our prior videos, no action is needed on your part. Oh, I love those words. No action is needed on your part. We got it. We got it. Remind them that you know what you're doing this will help you tremendously. My friends, do you have something like this? By the way, if you're one of a uh, member of our, of our uh, PM video coaching group um, and you don't have this from me previously, drop me an email. I'll be happy to share it. If you're not a member of our, our PM video coaching group, man, come on board. We do this stuff at a much deeper level. Share forms, share docs. If you want to see our full forms packages, jump onto our website. You can get every one of our hundreds of forms right on there through, through our website there at pmbuild.com. My friends, I hope this is helpful. The communication time when a property is coming vacant is imperative. That is the time for you to go full out, communicate well with your owner clients. Until next time, I wish you success.